Okay, <laughs> let me show you what I'm doing. How's everybody? So I'm getting ready for my dollhouse. I'm cutting those boards. Remember those big boards that I showed you? Yes. So I'm going to need four, a floor, a ceiling, and then two floors. Well, a roof. Yeah, a floor, a, a floor, a roof, and then two uh, ceilings and then I need another one for the uh, roof actually this is the attic I need another one sure enough I had to go buy more I knew I didn't have enough I'm um, in the store they sell them 40 by 60 so you can have the man cut it and it's 75 cents a cut which I wasn't thinking I should have just had them cut everything so I wouldn't have to do it it's not too difficult but you know it's not the easiest task and um, I'm I don't I can't find my folding table I have a plastic folding table I couldn't find it if you have a drafting table that's perfect but I'm just using a antique can you see it yes uh, it wasn't wide enough so I took the mirror off let me show you I took the mirror off you see it just screws right to the back so I just took that off so I can have a wide enough space a surface space like you know you gotta be creative and make a table. So I don't want to cut into this antique table, so that's why I bought these mat boards. And these were like ten dollars each. So I bought two just to double up to make sure. Because remember, you're cutting with this sharp exacto blade. You don't want to cut into your uh, antique dresser. And that's why it's good to use a drafting table, crafting table, because you really, you really, really don't want to use this. I don't have a, um, any other options, so I, and I wasn't going to be cutting on my dining table. That's why you see I'm in a whole other room. And I also set up this shelf with some of my crafting tools. You will need a lot of crafting things. And I even found these, some, you know, like shutters for the window. And you're going to need some steps, you know, things that I had. I didn't even, I forgot about this box. Some crown molding pieces, you know, just knickknacks for your house. And you need to have, of course, a tape measure, some scissors, you know, whatever supplies work for you is fine. You need all type of rulers. Yes, and you definitely need this T-square. I showed you that already. You definitely need that T-square and even an extra long ruler. For this cutting it's really really you got to have it you can't you can't if you don't have it it's just not going to work out at least now for, maybe you can get the quarter inch boards these are a half inch so maybe if you get the quarter inch boards you may can get away with a regular ruler but for the for half an inch you need that t-square i went to sam flex yesterday i should have priced them i know they're they're quite high they're quite expensive but i mean you know if you're going to make a dollhouse you need the right supplies and I tried to set up my lighting. I have my handy dandy magnifying a lamp. And then I have my ceiling fan. So, okay. So, um, I guess I'll end the video. And then uh, the next video, most likely I would have attached these. So you'll see the house start to take shape. And I will be attaching this with my handy dandy glue gun right here make sure you have a nice big one that little one will not work the uh, glue will get cold too fast by the time you get to the middle the time you go to stick it the glue will have hardened this one stays hot a lot longer giving you more time to glue your pieces together
Okay, stay tuned.